Hi everyone, this is Amy Northcutt. I'm the application specialist for the engineering segment here at Trimble, working with Tecla Structures. Today I wanted to spend a little time and talk to you about a new tool that we've developed here in the US called the Review Status Tool. This tool is available to help you uh, complete a in-model review um, and really works alongside the reviewer role really nicely. So let me just pull this up from the warehouse here. <clears throat> you can find this, this tool on the warehouse here. If you just search for a reviewer or a review status tool, you'll find this. And this is what the, the image looks like. It's uh, available for versions 2017i and on. And let me just take a moment. I'll close this out and we'll get into the tool itself. So for those of you who haven't seen the reviewer role, I would take a look at the video that's available on YouTube or on our website to go over the reviewer role itself. What um, in the basic idea here is that I'm using a role specifically for in-model review, and so many of the options here have been stripped down. Uh, but in addition to that, I've also got a, a special objects IMP file that goes along with that reviewer role that gives you access to these review fields in order to input data on all of your members in the model. So instead of having to come in into this dialog box and input the fields um, somewhat more manually and it, it doesn't quite look as nice, it's not quite as uh, instructive here in this dialog box, what we've created is the reviewer status tool to help us apply those, um, those statuses and those comments to the pieces in our model when we're going through and performing a review. Similar to what we would do during a shop drawing review, but in a 3D model world rather than a 2D. Okay, so let's get into it here. So the reviewer status tool, you can see I've got a number of fields here. The first one is the role. And this is where I'm going to come in. These are going to be pulled from the reviewer role objects INP file. So these can be um, predefined in that way. So if I'll just say today I'm going to play the architect one role. Uh, when I select that role, you can see that my model gets colorized. Over here on the left hand side, I do have the option to toggle that on or off right up here at the very top of my reviewer status tool, the button that looks a bit like a paintbrush. And this is just telling me the status um, that I have set for all of these members. So I, since I haven't done any review thus far, you can see that I don't have any um, statuses applied. They're all gray. <clears throat> Now the fields that are filled in with a, um, a red X here are required to be filled in before this can be submitted or um, the, before this status or the, this set of, of statuses and comments can be applied to the, to the model. So I'm going to say this is the for approval set that I'm reviewing. Um, we can call this submittal one or I can pull from, this is again from the objects IMP file uh, for my user defined attributes, submittal two or submittal three. I can set the date here, and if I hit the drop down, I can adjust the date. So I've got a little calendar view, and then I'll just put in my initials here. <clears throat> Lastly, I have a comment field. You don't have to have a comment if you don't want to, uh, but you certainly could. And so then I can come in, and I'll start going through my model and uh, viewing these connections. I can inquire my parts, as I usually would during the review process, and check out all the information, make sure the sizes are all correct, so on and so forth. Do that typical review process. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a member and apply those statuses or apply this set of data to my model by clicking the stamp action. So I can click approved, approved as noted, and revise and resubmit. And then once I've got those statuses applied, you can see that the colorization takes um, takes place in the model immediately. So uh, if I toggle that off again, it would just go back to my standard color by class. And if I turn it back on, it will flip back to whatever role that I'm using here. <clears throat> now, if I want to save away this data, you can see I've got the same save as box right up here at the top. So this red X at the top is indicating that this has not been saved. So I might call this ALN for approval on 1.4 and just give that a name there, hit save to save that away. And then when I look at my drop down menu next time, that will be available for me to load. Now, this reviewer status tool can be used alongside the reviewer role, as we've already discussed, or it can be customized to work with whatever your own internal company standard uh, review UDAs are. So if I hit the settings button here, I can look at the review status tool. Now, here's where I have a list of all of the roles. I can also create new roles here, but I can come in and I can give these names. So if I'm, if I'm pulling in the name, number, um, date, initials, 
if I say load in one of my architect roles, you can see it's pulling in the user defined attributes, the actual syntax of those user defined attributes that it's going to be using for these values. And so if I want to change these, I can change any of these, or if I want to, you know, completely save a new set here for myself, I can. Um, so this is just a matter of mapping these values to the appropriate UDAs that you would like to use for your own internal workflows. And then on the filter here, there are two different options for applying these statuses. I can either apply these on the assembly level or the part level using this tool. So it might depend upon who is doing the review as to which type of uh, filter you want to use and apply those statuses to. Um, but it just worth noting, you do have that choice, and so it might be just an internal decision to make before you get started down, um, or before you get started on this review process. I think that's everything, uh, but feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions, and have a great day.